what's up? My name is Mike Falzone. And I'm Mike Cruz. And we're here at the Fairmont Miramar Hotel over here at this restaurant called Fig. It's beautiful and I would never be let in here on a day-to-day -day basis because my bank account isn't as big as it should be. Uh, and we are here thanks to the Mushroom Council and they have allowed us to come here and set two chefs against each other in a battle royale of mushroom dumb to find out who can do a better dish with chicken and maitake mushrooms, also known as hen of the wood mushrooms. It was a very aggressive hand motion that you did, but I'm excited to eat. Haven't done it for days. This thing we're battling. My name is Charles Mbele, I'm the sous chef at the Ace Hotel and Swim Club in Palm Springs. I've been cooking since I was 17 years old and I got into it because I loved food. I found myself working in an Italian deli making mozzarella cheese and uh, I haven't looked back. I am uh, Yusuf Galliani, I'm the executive chef at Fairmont Miramar in Santa Monica and more specifically Fig Restaurant. I emigrated to the U.S. in 1992. I went to culinary school at the CIA in Napa and then uh, here in Santa Monica. A fig Restaurant is going to be uh, very exciting because of our Mediterranean and Middle Eastern inspired cuisine and using the best of the Santa Monica Farmers Market which is right across the street from us and we love featuring that and highlighting it in our cuisine. For this challenge, I was given poultry and hen of the woods mushrooms. I'm really excited. I love mushrooms and hen of the woods are actually my favorite variety of mushrooms. So I decided to go with a kind of hearty uh, hen of the woods mushroom and chicken pot pie. So what we're going to do today is we got these like uh, whole Mary's chickens. Um, I'm going to break them down and take the bone out. I want to cook the puff pastry separately from the actual pot pie and then just lay it on top, which is one of those kind of restaurant tricks. What I'm gonna do is use the cast iron pot that I have for my pot pie, kind of as a mold for the puff pastry. Pastry brush just like came from the sky. So this egg is actually gonna be for my, uh, for my puff pastry. So I'm gonna hit it with like a little bit of water and just brush it to get that nice golden yellow color on top. Okay, so what I'm actually just gonna uh, go ahead and sear the chicken. I don't want to crowd my pan too much, so I'm going to use two pans for the chicken. A little bit of kosher salt. I love salt. I actually have a, uh, a tattoo of the uh, Morton Salt Girl. So then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get some nice color on the chicken and not cook it all the way through. Kind of remove the chicken, cook the mushrooms in the same pot. We're just going to kind of like, keep building flavors and using all the yummy brown bits that get stuck. I'm just prepping all the vegetables that are gonna actually go into the pot pie. Then I always like to peel my celery. It takes off the outer layer that's like gonna be stringy and fibrous and not very nice to eat. Same thing with my carrots, obviously. So these are gonna be the hen of the woods mushrooms. Garlic. I'm gonna throw the mushrooms in. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of butter, a little bit of garlic, and then uh, black pepper, salt at the very end and then cook my onions, throw some thyme in there with the mushrooms. And then this is gonna get a little bit of butter now too. Really what makes it good, any comfort food, is lots of butter. The onions and garlic are getting a little bit soft, so I'm gonna hit my carrots in and my celery. So what I'm gonna do now is start to make a kind of light roux with the butter and flour. I'm gonna add the chicken stock to it. I'm gonna combine the chicken and the vegetables, get those working together, and I'm deglazing it just with a little bit of chicken stock so we can get all of that flavor back into our pot pie. This chicken is done cooking. The, uh, the veggies are in there, there's a lot of great flavor, so we're just gonna layer that in here with our mushrooms. This piece can go right into your casserole. See, that's starting to get to be the perfect consistency. It's just starting to coat the back of my spoon. And that's what I'm looking for. So we're gonna go ahead and spoon some more of that sauce right over the dish. Try to get all those mushroom bits. Oh yeah. That's gonna get set right on top of there. Go in the oven for about five minutes and then we are good to go. All right. And there we have it, our mushroom and chicken pot pie. I think it's a winner. But we are going to do a breakfast for dinner um, dish, which is a chicken and uh, head of the wood mushroom hash. We are going to highlight the flavors in the mushrooms and the chicken with vaduvan, which is a very mild French style curry that's really going to make the whole thing kind of uh, jump off the plate and make for a great dish altogether. We're going to start by breaking down a beautiful jajori chicken. So we're going to start by taking off the wings. 
Then we're gonna move over to uh, the breast and the thigh. Next, we're just gonna dice uh, the chicken. The thing with chicken is uh, you don't wanna dice it too small. Um, what's gonna end up happening is gonna get dried. So we have our uh, chicken dressed. Now we're just gonna really, really get the spices in there. So my talkie mushrooms, you wanna try to preserve as much of the clusters as possible because that's how you're gonna end up with the really nice juiciness on the inside of the my talkies. So these mushrooms we're gonna marinate as well. So a little olive oil. All right, so now to uh, get our, all of our vegetables ready for the hash. So peeling carrots, a nice little white carrot. Peel the, uh, the radish. So this is the ninja radish. It's long, it's very sweet. We like to use Persian cucumbers. And then we're gonna go right onto our mandolin. Fennel is gonna give you a really fun, sweet, spicy flavor. And next we're gonna work on our little torpedo onions. So we're gonna get our peppers ready to slice. Next we have Chinese long beans. Instead of going straight across, you're gonna go at an angle and expose more of the bean itself. The last thing we really need to do is uh, prepare tomatoes. We're going to add our uh, cucumbers and start getting them marinated a little bit inside the lemon juice and the garlic. Mayonnaise. And then we're gonna finish this whole thing with some strained Greek yogurt. And then the last thing we're gonna add to it is a little bit of mint. So sauce is ready to go. A hash is not a hash without potatoes. All we're gonna do is just cut these down a little bit and now we can move over to the stove and start uh, the cooking process. We're gonna start this by cooking the skin that we saved earlier from our chicken. Best way to cook this is to put it in the fryer. And we are going to throw in some chicken. We're gonna start our mushrooms. We're gonna go in with our potatoes, pepper, fennel, and onions. Then you can go in with radishes and carrot, tomatoes and green beans. Uh, here also is where you wanna add a little bit of salt. We're just keeping this whole thing moving. And now we're gonna add our reduced chicken juice. We have our chicken skins. We're gonna pop those in there. Uh, we're gonna start plating. So our beautiful yogurt sauce, our beautiful hash. Keep it nice and juicy and plate right in the center. Add our beautiful mushrooms and our perfectly cooked sunny side up eggs. That's the dish. Gentlemen. Yeah. Hi, judges. Nice. Hello. Hello. Oh. 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 Yeah. So our our challenge today was uh, maitake mushrooms, and we put together a maitake mushroom and dory chicken hash. So breakfast for dinner type of uh, dish. Mm, you're a breakfast guy, so that's gonna. I feel like. I feel like it's already attached to my heart. It's, it's gonna ring like, your bell. Good, ding dong. Well, I did uh, went in a little bit of a different direction. Uh, my taki mushrooms, or hen of the woods as they're called, um, are in season in the fall. And to me, um, the fall is all about comfort food and pot pie. And we made a hen of the woods mushroom and chicken pot pie with uh, peas and carrots and celery and all sorts of delicious stuff and lots of butter. I like butter. Nice. I like the fall. So I've always wished that I can eat it was one of my many Now regrets. you can. <laughs> Let's start with breakfast because I feel go. like we should start at the beginning of the day. Absolutely. And you save the best for last, so. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm trying to get a little bit of it. Don't tell me how to eat. Got a little right. tomato in there. Here we go. Mm. This is like what you would get at a diner if the diner was in heaven. Right now you're winning. <laughs> this is the only thing we're doing. <laughs> This what is one of those really things good. like, if, well, if on the off chance it made me sick, it wouldn't matter. I don't good. care. I would just keep eating. I'm gonna hold you to that. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's a winning shot. Right I don't there. want it to end. Mm -hmm. How that's much stuff is on my shot. beard right now? Yep. Most of it. All right, man. How do we eat this one? Like the best thing to do is probably get like a nice fork full of mushroom and chicken and veggies. Yeah, and then go and back and then break the off the puff pastry and dip it in the sauce. Okay. Mm. You guys are making this so hard. That was the point. That was the point. If you close your eyes, you could see the leaves <laughs> changing. That's not. You're not supposed to eat the time sure trees. Not garnish. Did you eat the garnish? <laughs> <laughs> Give me. A, you're not allowed to eat the rest of It's fiber. I guess. It's really, really good fiber. <laughs> it's really like earthy. I want to say hearty. Yeah. I don't necessarily know what hearty means, but I feel like if I did, I would describe this as that. I sure. like, I like mm -hmm. to think of it as soulful. Yes. It's soulful. It is soulful. All right, I'm going to have to be completely honest that the reason I'm going back for more is because I don't want to make a decision. Being a lover of breakfast and being as 
taken by surprise by the first dish as I was, I'm going to have to say that that was my choice. And I apologize because this was also absolutely amazing. The reason I'm so conflicted on the decision is that I really miss fall. Mm. I like legitimately miss the autumn season. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna go with the pot pie because I it makes it reminds me of everything I miss. Oh, and and now we fight. Here you go. And now it's a break dance. <laughs> <laughs> You've won a knife. Get even. How do we how do we break the tie? Who wants to I be don't a think you guys have enough food for someone else to Someone can did taste you try, both, we of try both dishes. Just to remind my taste buds what this was like. So you I, gonna, I had this back in the kitchen. Just lick the plate. Are you going to steal just his Falzone's last bite? Oh, well, there it goes. Yeah, there it goes. That was the last bite happening for me. You're yeah. breaking his heart. His <laughs> wee Falzone's heart. Sauce is a killer. <laughs> right? The sauce is really good. You're going to want to eat some of the garnish. Okay, but try the <laughs> autumnal. <laughs> Don't make. Here. Well, you you eat it. I'm not going to eat that. Even the garnish. You got to eat the. God. See? Right? Drop it all over us. I uh -huh. want to save this Yeah, forever. just spill this. <laughs> you get some of the chicken in there? We'll eat it off our pants later. Yeah. Man. That's, that's really good. This would not be a competition that I would be like that heartbroken to lose because they are both okay, really I'm good. I'm going to give it to you, Chef. Uh, you serve that. <laughs> <laughs> cut. You cut. 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 There you go. Chef, you serve wins. Uh, all right. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching and thank you to the Mushroom Council for allowing us to come here and do this awesome video. Uh, September was Mushroom Month, and but every month should be Mushroom Month. Make sure to check out his stuff. I'm sure there's a link right around his face. Or if you spell my the... name right, you can find me on the internet. I don't know how to spell your name though. That's okay. Make sure to subscribe to Taste It for more awesome food content. Like and leave comments down there in the video so that we know that you watched it. Because you should have. Give it five stars.